What's up boys and girls, C. Lopez back after a pretty long hiatus with another tutorialism. Okay, so the other day I picked up this uh, Lounge Lizard 4, which was on half price sale, it might still be, not sure. Um, and I've been playing about with it, really, really nice electric piano emulation. I started doing a little bit of recording. Now, because my uh, keyboard skills or keyboard time is not really that great, I feel like I wasn't getting the most out of this instrument when I, when I did this little uh, MIDI recording here. So have a listen. like these chords I've played are pretty nice but just uh, the humanness of them is just it's just not quite right I mean because my timing is so bad I had to quantize everything so it's directly on the grid and it's just it's just not it's not feeling the way I want it the chords are sounding nice but the feel is just not quite there so I so thought I'd have a look into how I could um, get Ableton to sort us out on this one so the first place I looked was the uh, arpeggiator. So I just grabbed it and put it before the chords here, or before the instrument. And I'm going to set the repeat to one, which just means it will just scroll through the, the notes in the chord once as opposed to forever which is what the arpeggiator was doing by default and I'm going to turn sync off and get it so sounding kind of nice but now obviously the notes aren't long enough even if I put the gate all the way up it's just not quite right so if we go up here to note length, throw this on after the arpeggiator and we can start to get the length back in those chords and you see with this free rhythm arpeggiator we're getting more of a, a natural sounding chord let's turn this down a bit we can automate this and this and we can have a go play with, with these different arpeggiator styles as well I'm sure we could automate that let's have a look at doing that in a second next yeah I just wanna I'm gonna put some kind of automation on this because I wanted to go from slow to fast every time the chord hits. So I'm going to go up to obviously I could draw that in as automation, but I'm going to use the Max for Live MIDI effect envelope. Let's throw this on and I'm going to map the envelope to the right here. So it's going to start off quick and So this um, amount here is the length of time that this envelope is working over. So by default it's at one second, so let's turn that up a bit. So now 
how we can automate this, these milliseconds here to determine the flam of that code. It's kind of nice. I'm not sure why it keeps cutting out there, but. So, as I said, I was going to do. Okay, try and automate this style thing. I wonder if we can do that with a LFO. Let's have a look. So changes every beat there. Uh, maybe that's a bit much. Let's turn that off for now. Anyway, let's put this back into the track. the little dropouts that are happening I think because I've got so much going on in the minute with all the screen recording but yeah humanizing chords getting the most out of this uh, electric piano cool so that's it for now short but sweet a C Lopez tutorialism peace <laughs>